I'm Courtney Wagner and this is In The Game. I'm here with Atlantic Coast head baseball coach, Mr. Joel Davis. Thank you for being here. Great to be here. So I know you are a local from Jacksonville. Tell me about yes. what you love so much about the city, where you went to high school. Um, I am was born and raised here. I will pass away here. I, I love the city. I went to Sandalwood High School, graduated in 1983. Um, Played pro ball for some years and decided to come back because I love the area. Um, and I've often said this to people, river runs right through downtown. You have all the river activities, ocean within 10 miles. Mm -hmm. It's a great area to live, very laid back. They call it almost the lazy Georgia, southern Georgia town <laughs> is what they refer to it as a lot of people. And basically, that's what it is. Which makes sense. And I, I want to brag on you for a little bit. Let's rewind. You played pro baseball. That's a pretty yeah. big deal. Tell me about that experience. Yeah, I, um, you know, and people all the time, I don't, I don't go out of my way most of the time to tell people because mm -hmm. to me it was, you know, years and years back and, you know, unimportant, whatever. Right. But I was a first round pick in 83 by the Chicago White Sox, 13th in the country, um, and played it for eight, eight years. Mm -hmm. I ended up tearing up my shoulder, but before that, I spent time in the big leagues in four years, 85, 86, 87, and 88. Mm -hmm. Had an opportunity to play with and against a lot of great people. Um, stories that I tell our kids, you know, I pitched with Tom Seaver. Mm -hmm. Guy's a Hall of Famer. My catcher was Carlton Fisk, okay, another Hall of Famer. And you look back at those experiences and the things that you can relay to your players, to me, is invaluable. And that's one of the reasons I came back after pro ball and went into the high school ranks as opposed to turning down numerous pro jobs I was offered right. in college. Right, because the fact too, you didn't have to leave the pros. The pros no. wanted you to stay and you decided to come back and better Jacksonville, better these schools around you. Well, in my opinion, and again, this is just my opinion, um, if you're going to better something, start with the places and people that you love. And that to me is the most simplistic truth that there is. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know a lot of my friends went back into pro ball and they've been scouts and guys, you know, all over the country, Tampa, all the way out west and mm -hmm. all sorts of things. But quite frankly, I, uh, I felt like this is something that is well needed mm -hmm. and felt like I could fill a gap. And, you know, I've tried to do that to the best of my ability. Am I perfect? No, by any means. Mm -hmm. But I do what I can do to help kids go to the next level. You know, there's nothing in my job description that says, oh, yeah, you have to help a kid get into college. Right. But after being through pro ball and seeing guys that did not have their degree and couldn't make the adjustment from pro ball to regular life is right. what I would term it. Most people don't know how to make that transition. Mm -hmm. Or our guys, I don't want them to not have a seat when the music stops. Right. I want them to be prepared for life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at the end of the day, the percentages of any of them playing pro ball, it's less than 1%. Right, on right. On average nationwide, they need to have that education behind exactly. them so they can move into a better life. It definitely is. And I know, you know, too, even with your own injuries, baseball, there's a lot of injuries. How is it having the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute taking care of your athletes, having them in the right hands? JOI, um, I've been involved with from a standpoint of me rehabbing from my own injury, mm -hmm. which occurred in 1989-90. Uh, I was cut on in February of 1990. Uh, so I rehabbed everything here through JOI. Yes. All those doctors and everything, even I went back and did my internships, I did them through those doctors with JOI. Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute is outstanding. Okay, I know the doctors personally. Mm -hmm. They have great care for our athletes. And the trainers that we have that we've had come to our schools, either when I was at Stanton or here, have been outstanding and forthcoming with everything that we need. So mm -hmm. from my viewpoint, they do an outstanding job. And they cover something, by the way, which is not commonplace now, and it should be, mm -hmm. and that is to have trainers at every school covering those schools. Because okay. it's kind of hard to do that. Right. And I know nationwide, when I went back and got my degree in sports med, became an ATC myself, I saw people trying to push that envelope and trying to get it done, and mm -hmm. JOI has been a big instrument and part of that. 
Definitely. And so they're out at every game then that you guys are having. So if something happens on the spot, you don't have to rush someone to the doctors. You have the doctors there. Right. Fortunately for me, I was an ATC and I could handle things, but I don't want to have to. Right. I mean, so you have some backup. Even <laughs> it, Listen, even when I was an ATC, I told I tell people this all the time. Hey, you know, look, is there... Is there a doctor in the stands? Anybody that's more qualified than me, I don't have the ego to step in. And, you know, so it's nice to have those trainers. And there's, there's two, two student trainers with our ATC. So you really have three people on right. site helping. So you're having a team of people there. And I'm sure, too, the parents must find huge peace of mind with that. Yes. Parents love it. Everybody. I mean, because right after the game, guys need ice, guys need this, that, whatever. They're mm -hmm. right there on site and the parents are seeing what's going on. They're seeing the help that they're providing and it's huge. That's fantastic. Yes. And what are your personal goals for this season? Um, we want to obviously peak at the right time. We are in one of the t toughest districts in the state. Mm -hmm. I mean, the teams that are in our district, um, one of the teams is probably average to a little bit below average. Everybody else can beat anybody on any given day. Thank you so much for being here today, Coach Davis, and best of luck to you and the baseball team. Thank you. You're very, very welcome.